tower. And for your safety, you must remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the captain has switched off the seatbelt sign. Also, be careful when opening over your locker as items could fall out. It's also now safe for transmitting functions on our electronic devices. Hello everyone, welcome to a new weekly vlog. Today we are starting off in Queenstown. Nick is turning 30 on Sunday the 15th and as his birthday present I have surprised him with a trip to Queenstown. I must say though the location wasn't a surprise because I ruined that back in like January when I accidentally blabbed about it. Um, but he doesn't know what we're doing on all of the days that we're here so hopefully it should be pretty exciting. We've just got to our hotel, I'll show you around a little bit. Um, but they've just given us a glass of sparkling rosé to start off the trip. So cheers to turning 30. Cheers. echoey we are heading up the hill we were supposed to go luging as well which is why I changed to put my ski jacket on because you sit in these like little go-kart things and I didn't want my coat to drag along the floor but unfortunately the luge is shut because they're doing some renovation work on it so but if you can see behind me let me just we already have some beautiful views so I think it's gonna look really pretty from the top having a few drinks and on the way home we stopped by and we got a Ferg burger for dinner which is I guess kind of like an institutional like it has a cult following uh, here in Queenstown it's like massive burgers that are supposedly super good um, so we are going to tuck in and then I will report back no joke this burger is the size of my face update finished the burger but feeling very full about halfway through I stopped eating like the burger bun and just ate all of the insides because I knew that I was gonna get real full plus also we have fries, so I wanted to have room for fries. My one tip if you are coming to Queenstown and you want a Ferg burger is to save waiting in the big long line that is always there because it's, as I said, like such a popular place. Uh, call up and put your order in and then you can basically like wait for your burger wherever. So Nick and I were at uh, Little Blackwood having a drink and we called up and they said like our burgers will be ready in 20 minutes. So we could sit in the warmth indoors, finish our cocktails and then just head down there and pick up our burgers. We're pretty tired because we got up super super early this morning um, and it's been a big day, a really exciting day but a big day. So I think I'm going to end the vlog here for today and I'll see you all in the morning. We just had an insanely delicious breakfast. The good thing about this place that we're staying is that they have breakfast included uh, like in the package. So uh, along with having like the continental breakfast with all of the cereals and everything they also basically make you whatever you want for breakfast. So I had X Benedict, Nick had pancakes, and I'm already excited to have pancakes for breakfast tomorrow. Today the plan is to go on a jet boat, which is a pretty typical touristy thing if you come to Queenstown, much like the gondola that we went up yesterday. Um, slightly concerned, our weather apps say that it's got like a 50% chance of raining at one o'clock when we're doing the jet boating. Um, it actually kind of looks like blue sky and sunny right now, so who knows, I don't know if they'll still go if it's raining or not, but I'm just charging the GoPro so that if we can do that, I can film it for you guys. <laughs> The 
weather held off and we were able to go jet boating which was so much fun it's definitely a tourist trap but it was like totally worth it we had such an amazing time the one we went on as well um there's like i think at least two different companies that go jet boating up the river but they will have like a different part of the river that they go on um the one that we were on i think was called k jet and it allowed us to go on like two different rivers and we had a really cool time. Another top tip if you are coming to Queenstown and you do want to do that is to try and book if you are going to do the K-Jet one for like the 1pm boat trip because for some reason I assume that one would be like the most popular time to go um, but that ride was only $99 per person or per adult and I think uh, normally it's like $129 so you can go and have a good time and save yourself a little bit of money as well. Now it has just gone 3.30 so we've just come back to the room um, to change because we kind of had like a lot of wet weather gear on because we thought it might be quite rainy on the boat. Um, we're going to chill out for a bit before we go out for dinner and drinks. <laughs> Spa. Look at our insane view right now. We've got some champagne, we've got some ice cream uh, and yeah we have this little spa for an hour. We get to enjoy the beautiful view. This river here is also the river that the shot over jet which is another one of uh, the jet boats come down so you may see one of them. It's so beautiful, it's so quiet and so serene and we are going to enjoy our time here and then this afternoon we are picking up a rental car and we are heading to Arrowtown. Parts terrified on his behalf and he's all chill about it um, but yeah how are you feeling a bit nervous are you gonna chicken out guess you only turned 30 once Well, as you can see, he got dunked in the water. How are you feeling? Other than cold? Cool. How was it? Fun. Um, Want to do it again? I would. But now we're going to go back to our hotel, get him dry, and then we're going out for dinner. We've got a little bit of a date night tonight. It is Friday morning and we are heading off to the Cadrona Distillery this morning to do a little bit of a tour. I guess see how they make all of their vodka whiskies and everything else that they make. I don't know if they do gin. I'm kind of hoping they do because it would be cool to buy a bottle but you never know. The distillery tour was really cool. Um, it was actually basically a private tour in the end. Um, it was just myself, Nick and another lady uh, and the lady who was giving us the tour was able to go into a lot more detail about the stuff that like we wanted to know as well. So um, at Cadrona Distillery, I think I said earlier, they distill uh, whiskey, gin, vodka, and then they also make liqueurs as well. Um, and I had mentioned that my favorite spirit was gin and so was the other lady on the tour. So uh, the lady giving us the tour was able to go into a lot more process in terms of how they make their gin and the botanicals that go into their gin as well. So that was really cool to learn a little bit more about that process. We also got to do a tasting at the end, which was pretty cool. Then afterwards, we actually spent a little bit of time exploring Cadrona and just going around. We drove up a hill and saw some insanely beautiful views and saw a bunch of snow. The time is now 9.37 and Nick is on his way back from Coronet Peak Ski Field. As you may have guessed, I didn't go with him in the end. Um, I was planning on doing a lesson um, that started at two o'clock at the ski field, but because uh, our plans in the morning going out to the distillery and things took a little bit longer than we thought, we didn't actually get back to our hotel to change and get ready for um, going up the mountain until like 2.30 or 3ish, I think, and it takes half an hour-ish to get to Coronet Peak from where we're staying as well. Um, 
I wasn't really too keen on skiing anyway. It's been like 10, 15 years since I ever went skiing. Two of Nick's really good friends live in Queenstown uh, and they are also snowboarders and they are at like the same uh, like intermediate experience level as Nick. So they were all able to go up together and have a grand old time. They were doing the night skiing which is I was also like a little bit nervous about because I don't think I can even ski in the daytime let alone in the nighttime. Uh, so I feel bad that I didn't go with him but I also know that I made the right decision and he would have had a lot more fun without me anyway because otherwise I feel like you probably would have been uh, like worried about if I was getting on okay. They are all on their way back from the mountain now and I think we are going to go out for a few drinks and also get some dinner because uh, I haven't had any dinner and neither has Nick. Um, so I think that is the plan. <laughs> an insane week full of adventure activities and things and I'm really glad that Nick has had such a good time uh, and that this turned out to be such a cool present for him turning 30. If you're watching this video because you are looking for ideas on what to do when you come to Queenstown I know I didn't go into a ton of detail about all the activities that Nick and I did but if you want to know anything else uh, then just chuck me a comment and I will endeavour to reply as soon as possible. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this travel vlog. It's been nice to have a little bit of a break from the DIY and the homie vlogs as well. So hopefully you've enjoyed a bit of a different video from me for a while. I hope you are all having a really wonderful week when you're watching this video uh, and I'll see you all later on. Bye.